Okay, so this is the same day, different video. Um, I'm Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler, all around schooler. <laughs> I love the little intro, right? But look, while I wait for Peter to get back to me, look what I found. I found this. I don't know if I'm trying to get it to be clear for this. you. This was me, Rachel, and Seth when they were little. <laughs> I miss those days. I do. It's like the blink of an eye. How does how does 18 years go by so fast? <sighs> you know what I mean? That's why, right? If you have little children, I highly recommend soaking it all in. Don't waste your time regretting, saying, oh, this is such a pain, because let me tell you, it goes by, okay? Hmm. It took a long time to get here, it did, but it does fly. It's like my daughter's gonna be 18. Like what? Like what? And yes, did it feel like 18 years? I would say so. But you know, I look and my life has changed so much, right? So my husband is gone. I used to watch the wedding video with him and we had a professional one and I highly recommend to always, if, you, if you're gonna get married, have a, spend the money and get a professional video. Forget having your friend do it, go professional. And um, we used to always watch it together and, um, and we used to point out, oh, that person died, oh, that person died, this person died, you can come in. And um, what's the matter? Uh -huh. Oh, she ate a hot pepper. She ate the hottest pepper in the world. What's the matter? It's snowing. It better not. I can't go anywhere. Pay attention, right? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Is it supposed to snow today? Uh, is it Monday? Yes. Yeah. Like all day? I think till like four. Oh. But I don't think it's supposed to like... Stick? Yeah. Well, I cannot be out in the world and having like the streets be slippery and sliding and oh my gosh. The name of that pepper? Caroline Reaper or something. The Caroline Reaper is the hottest, supposedly the hottest pepper on the planet. And so she had a what? Was it a, hopefully not it a was, seed because that's was, like. It was awesome. a seed and a, the seed is like the second hottest part so it's not that bad. I had a seed and then a little piece of the pepper. So the pepper on the outside is hotter than the seed? Yeah. Because on a regular jalapeno pe pepper, it's, it's opposite. opposite. All right. So anyway, so her stomach is hurting her and my my her, our friend's child has bought them online and is doing this big challenge of like who wants to like suffocate to death. Um, not really, but yes, they're doing this challenge. And so Sarah did it and now her belly won't stop hurting. Well, wait until you start to have to go to the bathroom. It's going to be oh, fun. Oh, we did. Huh? It hurts. Okay. So now that I was getting back to the video is that now I look at, I don't look at the video now, but not only are all those other people gone, but you know, I won't say anymore. But for those of you that are following me, you know what I mean? Um, so now that it's snowing, I don't know. Is, did Peter get back to us is the question. Okay. Let's look. Oh, he goes, oh, Wait a minute. He goes, coffee shop is closing now. How about tomorrow? Oh, dude. Seriously? Tomorrow, what tomorrow, like we're we'll going to get our teeth cleaned. Um, and who right wants now? to drink coffee when after you get your teeth cleaned? Ah, uh, man. Why? The coffee shop? What kind of coffee shop is that? No, it's like, what? Come on. Oh, that that kind of makes sense. One. Huh? That kind of makes sense. Why? Like one and it's like well, comma, we have an appointment tomorrow at 11 and at 2.30, oh, wow. I believe it is, or somewhere around there, period. We're all getting our teeth cleaned, and Seth is getting ready for braces on Wednesday on Tuesday. Period. What kind of coffee shop do you know that closes right now? Question mark. Aw. I don't want to do it tomorrow. Right? It stinks. So we're just waiting what he says. Oh boy. Well, you all met Richie. I Richie was on here. He met he met the our uh, subscribers. 
is a picture of Mr. Fry and Rachel. It's not that clear. But yeah. He used to love taking us to places that his father used to take him to. Which was this thingamajiggy. Lookout tower. So weird. So I went to my friend's house yesterday and she let me cut all the peppers. So Richie from Alabama, my friend, I have all these seeds. Okay. I have all these seeds that she let me keep and he told me to just dry them out and then we can freeze them when they're all done. So we'll let this sit forever and ever. He said three or four days, something like that. All right. I guess my friend Peter cannot make it. He was already at the cafe. <coughs> Excuse me. So me and Sarah are going to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So me and Sarah are going to go. We don't know where. I don't have a lot of money right now to be spending, and nor do I want to because we're going to pay off our mortgage. But we're going to go, and we're going to find a place that we can just have coffee together. Isn't that cute? Let's go. Do you want to come with us? Come on. You are not alone. All right. Set the sound to sleep. Rachel is at a friend's house. I'll have to pick her up later. And we are on our way. All right, so we just decided that we're not going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. We're going to do something a little fancy schmancy. I really don't want to spend a lot of money, so it can't be too fancy schmancy. But we're going to do something. Okay. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wiles and wickedness of the devil. Restrain him, O God. We humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin and destruction of souls. Amen. We have a helpful hint for you guys today that we just discovered ourselves. We saw our neighbor taking up all the salt from the street. The truck came by and and totally like left this big, huge pile. And then we're driving down the road and we're like, oh my gosh, look at all the salt that was collected on the side of the road. So use it for your property, people. Let's go. So I am, you know, plugging in my phones and I'm feeling like this. I'm plugging it in and I'm like, <laughs> well, I just gave my 12 year old caffeine and myself. Like, I don't normally do that. We drank caffeine. We didn't, we forgot okay. to say decaf. I always, I always drink caffeine. Well, you're not supposed to. Why? Because it's not good. Anyway, so I'll give you a little Dollar Tree. No, it's not Dollar Tree. Sorry. Dollar Store. Uh, I don't want to tell haul. you the name. A Dollar Store Hall. Okay. So I got this. I hope, even for a buck, hopefully it doesn't break halfway down. That would be bad, right? Like, is this reliable? If I'm like snaking something and it's like it breaks halfway down. Oh my God, that would just be bad. You better do your job. All right, for a dollar. And I have a, um, a one of the old telephones, the push button ones, ding, 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 ding. I needed a cord for that. So hopefully that's the right kind. I got some flashcards for my kid. And like I showed you in the store, so my friend Rich from Alabama, is going to show me how to garden, and these are great for labeling what is what in your garden. And that's it, baby. That's it. I am like flying high. That's probably because of the caffeine. Isn't this a natural high? I just thought it was naturally wonderful. It's probably both. Okay. So I have not eaten yet. It is now four o'clock, and I have been fasting all, ever since last night. So. I have to learn now, today's the day, where I'm going to have my one meal with loaded with vegetables. You gotta load it with vegetables, okay? Because that's what, you know, fills your belly, gives you um, all the vitamins you need, right? And you need, so all your electrolytes, I believe, will be in that, in those vegetables, and healthy fat so that I can go till tomorrow again. And let's hope that this will be burnt off during this Lent. Wouldn't that just be awesome? I could show you what kind of salad I am into lately. I have iceberg lettuce only because I love it. And I, they say that it doesn't offer him much nutrition. Um, I, I, as you saw, I had my wheatgrass, but it's very crunchy. I love onions in here. I love, um, I have a new cottage cheese. I have been, I always loved cottage cheese in my salad. And this has um, cherry flavor. It's like, oh, wonderful. And, um, I also have a Mexican cheese in there and Thousand Island, no, what kind of, oh, honey mustard dressing with a lot of vinegar also on the side there. I sprinkled it in. So this is a big bowl. Big bowl is what you want of vegetables. Seven to 10 cups a day. After that beautiful salad, I took those steakums and I make a steak and egg with garlic, grated cheese, 
and any kind of cheese you got on hand, all right? And pepper. Oh, I can feel like I'm at a restaurant. You just put the pot holder under there and just save a dish and you can eat right out of the, the pan. All right, so we are gonna dig in, honey. Oh yeah, I haven't had one of these in a long time. Actually, I never made this in my life. <laughs> I did make, you know, steak and eggs, but not with all these ingredients on it. See? Yum. So we are going to just, like, help it up. We, we worked out today. Mm-hmm. Went to that beautiful cafe. And now we're eating. I really want to work out again. I'm telling you. It's exciting. And I ate my daughter. That's the kind of dog Julie is. Nice. Okay, so I, instead of composting all the time outside because it does bring rats, to mention all the food I put out for the animals. I'm going to break it up and I'm going to feed my plants, right? Why do you, must you always, I don't know, I'm probably just not educated enough to know any better, but I, I can't see too well, but I have all these plants in the window here. So I'm just gonna, you know, share the wealth and put a little bit in each one still feel hungry. It's not like a hunger, like my stomach is hungry. I feel like I need more fat, not any more vegetables. I feel like I need more fat and I'm kind of sick of cheese a little bit. Just, just a little bit. So I really don't know. I don't have any more. My avocados aren't ready. I don't have any more walnuts. Although Rachel, Sarah might have something upstairs. I have peanut butter. Oh, I need more fat. Imagine that to get rid of fat, you have to have fat because it'll hold me over. See, I don't want to like eat anything later. I want this to be a day of not doing that. Here I have, I mean, this is not fat, but like if later I want a dessert or you know, in a little while, you put, um, what is it? Uh, heavy cream with, you know, on top of these and you put them in the, um, the blender. See, I don't, I don't, I'm not in the mood for any more meat. Um, hmm. So I think I'm going to have a spoonful of peanut butter. Helps the fasting. Helps the fasting prolong the fasting. You want to see what I really want, but I'm not going to. That recently for my son. Am I being honest? That was truthful. However, I did love it. That's like, oh my gosh. That's like pasta to me, like oatmeal. It's like, whoa. I don't mean to be goofy, but I do. So, what am I saying to you? I am saying that my house is getting messier. Um, I did. I had two bowls of it, and it was just fantastic. I didn't like any sugar on it. I'm not that type of person, but I do like my sugar. However, we don't do that anymore. Remember? What do you want from me? I have to open this, excuse me. Oh, I have this brand here, and I like it a lot. Although I do favor, um, what do I favor? I favor Chunky. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I could put it on celery. Now we're talking. You could. Mm. Celery. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you right now? Mr. Fry loved his celery with peanut butter. That was one thing that he just delighted in so much. That's so nice, isn't it? I always tell him, Stephen, I will enjoy this for you. It could be holding the children's hands. It could be looking at them. It could be a beautiful day, a rainy day, whatever. Mm. And I always ask him to enjoy heaven for us. It's so weird. Like, I think about that all the time, and I'm like, it's just different. I don't mean the peanut butter. I mean him not being here. It's so weird. It's so weird. You know somebody so well, and they're not here. Mm. 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 I 
I can't see him again until I die. And we don't know when that is. I will say that longevity runs in my family on my mother's side. So, it's really bizarre to lose somebody. It's like I keep like, all right, is this going to end? When will this end? When can I get relieved and see him again? My eyes want to see him live, not in a picture, not in a video. I want to see him. I want to see him walking around this house. Seth wears his slippers and I can hear them shuffling across the floor the way that he used to, you know? But with knowing God, we have to trust that there will be relief someday because we are not meant to be in this world forever. So this soon, this too shall pass. I just want to show you that miracles still happen, okay? Be hopeful. The trash barrels were taken in. They're not properly placed, but they are there. The day of trash day. It's a miracle. It's a miracle.